Abuja, the capital of Nigeria, lies in the central part of Nigeria, in the Federal Capital Territory. The city is approximately 480 kilometers northeast of Lagos, the former capital. During the 1980s, the new capital city was built and developed on the grass-covered Chukuku Hills. The site was chosen for Nigeria's new capital because of its central location, easy accessibility, salubrious climate and low population density and the availability of land for future expansion. It was the first planned city to be built in Nigeria. The city's central area contains the city hall, national cultural institutes, and other government-related offices. It also contains the Three Arms Zone, which is home to the Presidential Palace, the National Assembly, the Supreme Court, the National Arboretum, the National Christian Center, the National Mosque, and Millennium Park, the largest park in Abuja. The National Children's Park and Zoo are nearby. Other areas provide housing, shopping facilities, and other urban amenities. The National Stadium, a large multi-sport arena, is located on the western edge of the central area. Abuja has an international airport and expressways that connect the federal capital with other cities. Power lines and underground cables conduct electricity to the city. Abuja is Nigeria's administrative and political capital. It is also a key capital on the African continent due to Nigeria's geopolitical influence in regional affairs. So the question stands why would you invest in Abuja instead of all the numerous states in Nigeria and which sectors to invest in? Here are some valid reasons and great sectors to invest in. Welcome to Thinkridge Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you are missing out. Centenary City One of the largest real estate projects in the country is Centenary City, located in Abuja. The $180.6 billion Smart City project envisions the creation of an integrated urban center combining a business district, financial center, art centers, residential areas, sports facilities, business and technology parks, and tourism services. The project is a public-private partnership drawing the majority of its financing and development from the private sphere. Over the lifetime of the project, the authorities expect to create over 50,000 construction jobs and 5,000 permanent well-paid jobs. In addition, the complex is expected to house 100,000 residents with the capacity to host 500,000 daily visitors. Real Estate Real estate is a major driver of the Abuja economy. This correlates with the considerable growth and investment the city has seen as it has developed. The sources of this investment have been both foreign and local. The real estate sector continues to have a positive impact on the city, as it is a major avenue for employment. As Nigeria is increasingly becoming a dangerous place to live and coronavirus is raging across Europe, many of the middle class and elites have chosen Abuja as a place to reside. When it comes to investing in real estate in Nigeria, Abuja is arguably the best place to do so for various reasons. Abuja is Nigeria's capital city, it is rapidly developing, it offers a great quality of life and there is plenty of vacant lands available. The land is a particularly attractive investment due to it being a relatively hands-off way of making money. When you fully comprehend these facts you will understand that Abuja is the place to be and accordingly is the best place to buy land in Nigeria. Transport Abuja's transportation network is well-developed and expanding, although rapid urbanization has put pressure on the existing network. Built in accordance with the city master plans, the Metropolitan Road Network is extensive, although satellite towns remain underserved. The city connects to the northeast through the A234 Federal Highway and to Niger State via a direct highway link which is still under construction. In addition, Abuja is intersected by the A2 Expressway, which connects it with Kaduna in the north and Lakoja in the south. 
the FCTA's proposed budget for 2018 earmarks 8 billion naira, $25.9 million, of capital expenditure for the expansion and extension of major road links in and around Abuja. This includes the expansion and extension of the Outer Southern Expressway and Inner Southern Expressway, along with the construction of the Southern Parkway and a new carriageway. The territory has also experienced improvements in rail connectivity, becoming the first city in West Africa to inaugurate a rapid transit system, the Abuja Light Railway. The first stage of this project connects 12 stations across the metropolitan area and opened in July 2018. The new network connects the city center with Idu, an industrial neighborhood, and NMD Asakyu International Airport, with five additional phases set to extend its coverage to 290 kilometers. Furthermore, the city's national rail system connects to the Lighthouse Kano Standard Gauge Railway. The most recently completed section of the network is the Abuja Kajuna Rail Line, which opened in December 2014. The $876 million project was undertaken by the China Civil and Engineering Construction Company and spans 186 kilometers. The aviation segment is served by NEA, which offers domestic and international flights. NEA is the second largest airport in the country in terms of passenger footfall. Following the 2017 renovation work, the airport has made considerable improvements to its domestic standing being voted the international airport that had achieved the greatest improvements in the Nigeria Aviation Awards. Operations at NEA are set to improve further with the opening of a 61.2 billion Naira, $198 million new terminal. Every great city needs an amazing transport system, and Abuja definitely has that and is working towards better making it a great place for investment. Construction A wide range of new and ongoing projects in Abuja and its surrounding settlements are expected to provide a major boost to the territory's construction sector. Although the industry is smaller than that of Lagos, with fewer companies and projects underway, SCT construction growth is set to accelerate in the coming years as the FCDA and private sector move forward with a host of new infrastructure and real estate projects. Nevertheless, construction companies do face a series of challenges in the territory. So with all these construction projects going on and those in the foreseeable future investing in Abuja isn't such a bad idea. Minerals and Agriculture In addition to its importance as an administrative and commercial center, the FCT also plays host to significant mineral deposits and a solid agricultural sector. According to the NBS, the territory accounted for the third highest volume of mineral production in Nigeria in 2017, with an output of 4.46 million tons, or 9.75% of total production. Of this total, the territory produced 3.52 million tons of granite, 721,000 tons of granite dust, 204,000 tons of laterite, 16,700 tons of clay, 2,970 tons of limestone, 250 tons of tin ore and smaller quantities of lead and zinc. The territory also possesses a sizable agricultural base, which includes yams, millet, maize, sorghum and beans. However, in a study published by the development NGO ANE OCO International Foundation, researchers found that the FCT's fast-growing population had placed pressure on both local and regional food supply networks. The report identified two crops, cassava and groundnut, as holding significant growth potential for the territory. In particular, increased cassava production could help local farmers tap into the nascent biofuel industry as the FCT seeks to expand energy production while also reducing carbon emissions. Renewable energy will help the country fulfill its commitments made at the COP21 UN Conference on Climate Change while making a positive impact on the lives and livelihood of communities through the guarantee of a stable power supply. Equally, biofuel projects will also help the government free up its budget for environmental waste management and healthcare. Industry The territory's robust infrastructure and significant mineral deposits provide a solid basis for expanded industrial investment. Abuja's role as the administrative capital and financial center has crowded out investment in the manufacturing sector. However, in an effort to overcome this challenge, in 2010 the FCT announced the creation of Abuja Industrial Park.
The $1.8 billion project, which is being developed by the Turkey-based Zebras Group, covers over 135 hectares and is expected to provide a cluster for 117 industries. Upon completion, the site is also expected to be independent in electricity generation, serviced with its own railway and water treatment plant, and equipped with banks, shopping centers, hotels, and restaurants. Work on the project broke ground in 2013 and the first phase is expected to reach completion in 2018. So investing in the industrial sector now will yield great returns. With high and resilient economic growth, an important role as the country's administrative center and significant mineral deposits, the future looks bright. However, rapid urbanization presents serious challenges. The ongoing prioritization of transport and infrastructure spending, coupled with efforts to increase private sector investment in real estate go some way towards addressing these issues. However, more remains to be done to further increase private sector involvement in large-scale infrastructure projects and to leverage the territory's manufacturing potential. The time to invest in Abuja is now. We hope you loved the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our amazing videos on Africa, entrepreneurship, and personal development. Help our channel grow.